What's up YouTube, this is Toto 8776 and welcome to the fourth installment of Voltron 20th Anniversary 7 part video series and today we're going to take a look at the fourth lion that forms the right leg of Voltron none other than the blue lion as you can see here the blue lion was piloted by two characters initially by Sven and followed by Princess Alora. So we, before we look at the lion, let's talk about the characters first. First, let's talk about Sven. Sven was the second in command and piloted the Blue Lion in the very beginning of the series, but shortly after was badly injured and sent away to be healed. He was replaced by Alora. His age is about the same as Keith, about 21 to 23 years old, he now resides on the planet Pollux with the Princess Romella and Prince Bandor, both cousins to Alora. He decided to stay to help them repel Lothar's doom forces and maintain peace on the planet, though he may just have some ulterior motives for his decision. Sven was always very quiet and spoke only when he had something important to say. Though he may not look it, Sven is a very emotional person and his heart is always leading his mind in any decision. He felt devastated when he couldn't help Voltron, but he found new hope with Rommel and Bandor. The Paloxian princess gave Sven the motivation he needed to continue the struggle against the Drool Empire. Sven is very courageous, very brave man and never fights without purpose. Sven fell in love with Rommel almost from the day he first met her. At first he hid his feelings, feeling him a lowly pilot and Rommel a princess but eventually he saw past that and admitted his feelings to her. Lucky for him, she felt the same way. Princess Alora is the ruler of planet Eris and the pilot of the Blue Lion after Sven. Her age is about 18 to 20 years and her appearance is that of a very beautiful, alluring woman. That's why her name is Alora. She has never failed to make a man give her a second look. Though a bit naive, especially with matters of romance, Alura is a strong-willed person and is very capable of ruling her planet, though some like Koran and her nanny tend to disagree. Ever since first piloting the Blue Lion, Alora has increasingly matured and become an excellent fighter, both in and out of her ship. Though she still has a way to go, she is well on her way to becoming one of Eris' greatest leaders as well as a very strong woman. Alora also has a big heart especially when it comes to her people. She would do almost anything to secure their happiness, which is why she began piloting the Blue Lion in the first place. Alura is the one the guys like to tease, since she is the only female of the group. Lance especially likes to joke around with her. But all four men would do anything to ensure her safety, especially Keith. Alura's attraction to the Voltron commander is not always apparent even to her, but there is no doubt she holds special feelings for Keith. Let's talk about the appearance of the Blue Lion. The Blue Lion is the right leg of Voltron and the second massive lion present. It is mostly covered in blue. It has wheel-like bolts in its shoulder and limb joints in order to allow fluid execution of movement. It has three claws in all four limbs and a yellow tail there at the back. The blue lion resides in waters underneath the castle of lions and therefore Ares' second line of defense. It comes to the life once its activation key is placed. The blue lion forms the right leg of Voltron. During formation, it loses its limb and tail. The blue lion affixes to the black lion's right leg. The blue lion has a number of abilities displayed in the show. The Blue Lion is capable of flying in the air. It likewise is capable of hovering in a single spot in the air. During its voyages outside planet Eris, the Blue Lion is covered in a blue comet-like aura which it uses to travel from Eris to other planets in the galaxy. This ability is not used within the fly space of planet Eris or any other planets but only in outer space, suggesting it is for intergalactic travel. The Blue Lion uses a weapon materialized from energy in its shoulder bolt. It has vertically placed turrets for 
firepower. It can manifest on both shoulders. There's also a shoulder-mounted cannon. It is a powerful cannon weapon shared by other lions. Aside from cannons and firepower, the blue lion also has a crucifix-like dagger. It materializes from its mouth in order to pierce and cut objects. The blue lion can fire various other miniature missiles and it can fire off missiles from its claws. This version of Voltron is made out of die-cast metal and sturdy plastic and it's a lot bigger compared to the green lion. Compared to the other lions that forms the limbs of Voltron, this lion is the most decorated lion. This lion is beautifully crafted with great details and elegant design suitable for the princess royalty. So guys, this is my showcase for today. Hope you like it and see you on my next video. Stay tuned for the fifth installment of Voltron 28th Anniversary 7 part video series. I will present to you the fifth lion that forms the left leg of Voltron. So this is Toto8776 saying keep collecting, enjoy collecting. And thank you for watching. Cheers.